I'm finally back from Paris and oh my gosh, I didn't think I would like Paris as much as I do because the streets are just so beautiful. I mean, there's so much more to do. Every neighborhood or every district is different. So I'm looking forward to going back. But for now, I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got from my trip from food, souvenirs, and whatnot to, of course, what everybody loves, luxury shopping in Europe. First off is this Ferrero Rocher bar. And I also got this in the original, you know, hazelnut flavor. I also, I got it in dark chocolate because my friend, na pagbibigyan ko nito, likes dark chocolate. We have the Biscoff chocolate bar as well. And then this one, sobrang sarap, Cadbury Fingers. Para siyang yung pretzel sticks na may chocolate covered, pero Cadbury yung chocolate niya. So, makes it extra sarap. We actually ended up finishing more than five of these already during our trip. Tapos nagbaon pa ako ng tatlo. My dad finished the whole pack on our flight back, which was around seven hours lang. Naubos niya yung buong ito. So, last box na to. Tatago ko na. Joke. Pero masarap talaga siya. Highly recommend this. It's a good snack. Hindi siya nakakaumay. I ended up buying some Nespresso capsules from the brand Lord. Masarap yung single origin na Paris ng Nespresso. So, I thought, why not try these out? Mura lang din siya lumabas, parang 7 euros for 20 capsules. So since paubos na rin naman yung capsules ko dito sa bahay, I thought, why not try these out na rin? Hindi ko pa siya natatry. Ayan, so I got yung 7 na intensity, tas isang 9, para hindi naman ako sobrang dilat at kinakabahan, ba? But yeah, those are the only food items that I got, mostly chocolate. Ay, ito pa pala. I also picked up some macarons, of course. I got, my sister got some from Ladre, but since meron namang Ladre sa New York and sa DC, I wanted something na meron lang sa Paris, so I got the Pierre Hermé which is Blair Waldorf's favorite macaron. So, kung Gossip Girl fan kayo, ito yon. Ito yung binili ni Chuck all the way in Paris, tas dinala niya sa New York. So, I got one box of eight for my entire family. And just to show you kung gaano siya kasarap, may difference talaga siya kasi parang hindi puro hangin yung loob ng macaron niya. Medyo mas dense siya and mas flavorful in my opinion. Ayan, paubos na. Tatlo na lang yung natitira. And then I actually got a couple of boxes, yung box of four lang, for my friends pang pasalubong. Kasi while I do love a good souvenir, ang hirap lang bumili ng souvenir or gifts na pang pasalubong kasi lahat may nakalagay na Paris. Parang ang weird lang na ibibigay mo may nakalagay na Paris pero hindi naman siya yung galing sa Paris. Alam mo yun? So sometimes feeling ko kasi nasasayang pa ganun. So I opted for like um, other products that you can only buy in Paris, ganyan, or like made in France na products, which I'm gonna show you guys later dun sa pharmacy haul ko. Um, the next item is what I got from Basilica Sacre Coeur, which is Church of the Sacred Heart. So I ended up picking up two rosaries from the Basilica. Ang ganda ng rosary niya kasi ayan, kumuha lang ko ng blue, tsaka isang Parang white as pasalubong lang din. And then I got my cousin the Paris, um, anong tawag dito? Anong tawag? A you Are Here collection ng Starbucks. Meron silang mas maliit. Ako, I don't collect these kasi madadagdagan na naman yung kinokollect ko sa bahay. So yung cousin ko wanted to get this. But then pagdating nila sa airport, yung terminal nila walang stores. But the terminal I was in, super blessed. Terminal 2 kami. And may Starbucks, may designer stores. As in, kumpleto yung designer stores ko. So, kung Terminal 2 kayo, you can save your shopping dun na sa airport even. Kasi walang mga pila. But the only problem is limited yung stock sila. Hindi lahat ng products kinikerry nila. Usually mga more, hindi siya classic yun nandun. But anyway, I got the Paris You're On, your You Are Here mug from Starbucks. And then for my pamangkin, I got him this Remy Ratatouille na straw. Kasi gusto niya yung mahilig siya maglaro ng mga stuffed animals. And apparently gusto niya nandaga. And mahilig siya mag straw. So I got this from Disneyland Paris. We went to Disneyland Paris for a day. We did two parks in one day. And honestly, kaya na siya ng one day talaga. Kasi maliit lang. Para siyang Hong Kong Disneyland. And then from Versailles, my cousin and my aunt got me these hair accessories. So super cute hair accessories lang ito. Headband. And then this one is a hair tie with like a bow. So yung print na to is from their Marie Antoinette collection. I love it. It's giving very grand bakor. So super excited to use this. Perfect siya for spring summer. 
And then from the souvenir store, kung mahilig kayo sa art, highly recommend Montmartre. And the problem is, nung nandun kami, hindi ako nag-pick up ng art kasi ayoko magbit-bit. So I ended up just picking these two art pieces, these two prints from a souvenir store near Cafe du Flor. So kayan ang pinick up ko na print is yung isa Cafe du Flor and then yung isa is just a lot of the tourist spots in Paris. So you have the Eiffel Tower, Arc de Triomphe, the Seine River, the Basilica, Sacré Cœur, as well as Notre Dame. Um, the Notre Dame Cathedral was actually closed when we were there because it was from the Sunog in 2020. I think that was 2020 or 2021. So yeah, those are every random thing that I got into City Pharma. We did this on our last day. As in, the morning before our um, flight, we needed to get there because they're known for their pharmacy because it's filled with a lot of good French beauty brands. Some products na bibili ko lang sa Sephora here. And while I was there, what I was doing was comparing the prices sa US. Para kung onti lang naman yung difference, I could just buy it here sa US. But since yung iba, ang laki ng difference niya at at least mga five dollars or that's two hundred fifty pesos. Kapag inad up mo siya, malaki na din yung savings. So I did pick up a couple of items from. Pharmacy City, and ito yung location na may three floors. The first floor is all beauty, as in beauty lang talaga. Second floor is like mga dental stuff, and then third floor is for baby. So, ayun, dito rin ako bumili ng mga pampasalubong. So, let's start with that, yung mga pampasalubong. I picked up these NUX gift packs. So, it has a hand lotion as well as a lip balm. I thought this was a good pasalubong kasi very, you know, neutral siya in terms of hindi ka mo kailangan piliin yung shade, yung scent, ganyan. Kasi pag pabango, diba, mamaya hindi naman sila mahilig sa scent na yun. So, at least ito, alam kong magagamit. And again, made in France. I got this for around 4 euros yata, parang 3.89. Pero in the US, it retails for $20 each. So, such a good deal. So, I got a lot in case na may makalimutan akong pasalubungan. So, ayun. Again, that's from the brand Knox. I also got the Caudalie version of that same pack. So, again, hand and nail repairing cream and then one lip balm. So, perfect for traveling. Another cuddly item, I got this facial spray lang. Good for summer, pang refresh. I got this, I forget how much it was. I think it was around 4 euros lang. And this is the travel size version, which I think is actually a good size na for me. And then I got this cuddly elixir. Ito, matagal ko nang gusto itry dito. Pero lagi akong namamahalan kasi nga facial spray lang naman siya. But some other people use this before applying makeup. And it's a good like primer daw. So I decided to get like a small lang and this one was around 9 euros and it retails for around 26 dollars here sa US, 26 or 29. So yun lang yung mga items na talagang naaalala ko kung magkano kasi I remember looking it up kung magkano siya sa US website. And then of course, La Roche-Posay, I got the Sika Plus Balm. I actually use this on an everyday basis and naubos ko na yung last. Oh, mas malaki pa pala siya! So, mas mal nawala na realize na mas malaki rin siya. So, I usually use this underneath my makeup or at night to really hydrate my very dry skin. So, sobrang perfect. Ang laki, ang laki na, mas mura pa. I think this was around 9 euros. And yung mas maliit na version nito retails for at least 16 dollars here sa US. So, sobrang makakamura ka talaga kung ito naman talaga yung brands na ginagamit mo. And then, I've been wanting to try their sunscreen. So, I got it, of course. And this is Antelio's UV sunscreen 400. This is a very famous product from La Roche Posay. So finally, mata try ko na. And since magsa summer na, kailangan natin ng SPF sa katawan natin and sa face, of course. And then yung gift pack na nakuha ko, may free na facial spray. I think facial spray. Yeah, tama. Thermal spring water calms and reduces skin irritation. So may free na siya na malit na ganyan na mata try ko rin. So mas mura na siya, may free pa. So, yun yung mga binibli ko. Nung una, I was going crazy and just grabbing everything that I want to try. But then, I realized I need to start about it. And hindi pwedeng bili lang ng bili ng products. Kasi nag-expire yan. Sayang naman. Naisip ko na lang, makakabalik naman siguro ako sa Paris. And magsa-stock up na lang ulit ako pagbalik ko. Pag na-try ko na lahat ng to. And I know if I like it or not. I mean, yung mga new products na never ko pa na-try. Okay, so I also picked up their dry shampoo. This is one of their best-selling dry shampoos daw. So I got it on a travel site version lang just to try because I didn't want to commit to the full size version just yet. So it's from the brand Chlorine Laboratories Dry Shampoo with Oat Milk. 
And then other bath products, mahilig ako sa shampoo bar. I just feel like it's a lot better for my hair. I got the Nux Paris Gentle Shampoo Bar and inaamoy ko lang to. Ang bango niya kasi talaga, so feeling ko okay siya for the hair. Very fresh and floral yung scent niya. So if hindi kayo mahilig sa floral, baka you won't like it. Pero ako, I kind of like how fresh it feels or how fresh it smells. And then I also picked up the perfume oil from NUX. Again, number one perfume oil though. It was a Paris. I got it in the scent na floral. Pero yung floral niya, hindi yung nakakatanda na floral. It's very fresh lang. It reminds me of like a Victoria's Secret, but more mature. In Pero hindi siya amoy matanda. Very fresh lang talaga. Parang siyang medyo baby's, baby's breath by the angel's breath. Yung parang baby cologne na may floral scent. So it makes it feel more mature. But yeah. It lasts throughout the whole day too because it's a perfume oil. So I just got the smaller version. Talaga na to small pa to, ha? And it was only around 20 euros. And since perfume oil nga siya, mas onti lang yung kailangan ko for the entire day. If may space lang ako sa luggage, okay din siya pampasalubong. Kaso, you have to make sure na gusto ng papasalubungan mo na floral yung maamoy. Because again, it's a French brand made in France. So, so nice. And so bango. Ha? Very fresh lang talaga siya. And then I wanted to try this Bioderma Micellar Water. It's one of the best as well. And again, I got like a small size lang para matry. And then if nagustuhan ko, balik tayo ng Paris. Ganun kadali. And then last but not the least, ito, natry ko yung body wash sa Airbnb namin. So I had to pick up yung soap nila. And soap yung binili ko kasi Pili ko pag body wash, ang bilis maubos. Eh, nagustuhan ko talaga siya. Super bango. This is the brand La Petite Marcel. Marcel? Yun ba? I don't know. I'm, pr I'm probably butchering it. But sobrang bango nila niya sa katawan and very fresh yung feeling niya. So, I decided to get it. Meron din silang hand soap. Pero, like I said, wala nang space sa maleta ko. So, this is the last thing that I got from City Pharma. Feeling ko, mas madami pa ako mabibili had we gone there sooner. Pero, okay na to. Just to try and restock on my everyday favorites. Tapos, eventually, babalik tayo ng Paris and mas City Pharma tayo ulit. Disclaimer, this is not all for me. Yung sister ko nagpabili siya sa akin kasi nga, mas mura sa Paris and ako naman, since ang dami ko nang nabili in the past year, isa lang yung gusto kong parang souvenir since it's my first time in that city. So, I wanted to get something from a French brand. So, I did and I'll show you guys that later. But first, let's start with Hermes. Actually, ito yung last ko na nabili kasi I couldn't get a leather appointment at Hermes. Um, initially, I wanted to see if I could get a Garden Party tote, yung Garden Party 30. Matagal ko na yung gusto kasi when I went to Japan, hindi ko alam na Hermes yun. Up until, alaman ko na Hermes yun. So, during the time na nasa Japan ako, I'm not sure if you guys have seen that vlog. When we were vintage um, shop, vintage bag shopping, nakita ko yung tote na yun. And then, lo and behold, Hermes pala siya. Anyway, I was trying to get a leather appointment, but it was quite difficult. Even if I wake up at 10.30 and then try to set up an appointment, wala talaga. Like, ang dami kasing nagpapaschedule. And that's fine with me kasi ayoko rin mahihurapan just to get a bag. Nung nasa airport na kami, my sister looked up kung ano yung shops na meron sa airport namin and may Hermes daw. So, nagpabili siya sa akin. But I was like, make sure na meron yung Hermes na yun or meron yung store na yun sa gate namin kasi most of the time, it's gate specific. So, yung Terminal 2 sa Paris, meron siyang three gates and once you're, you can only go into the area nung gate nyo. So, that's gate LM KLM yata. Tapos, yun lang yung pwede yung pasukan. So, we were at Gate M and merong Hermes, merong Dior, Longchamp, lahat ng luxury brands meron doon. But, smaller store format lang. Anyway, again, Hermes at the airport na namin siya nabili. Meron yung Picoton nung nasa Hermes ako. Pero, yellow siya. Tapos, silver yung hardware. So, di ko masyadong gusto. But, it retailed for around 2,200 euros. I forget what size siya. Siyempre, yung sa airport, duty-free na siya. So, this is what my sister asked me to buy. And nagpahalam ako. Sabi niya, pwede ko daw i-haul. Actually, siya nagsabi na i-haul ko. So, ayan. Of course, wrapped beautifully with a ribbon. Hinanap na namin to nung nag over kami sa Seoul. Pero, wala yung size niya. So, favorite niya tong sandals na to. These are the Oran sandals in the color gold. Ako, 
hindi ako mahilig sa sandals na ganito kasi medyo wide feet ako so hindi siya bagay sa akin. But since mas maganda yung paa ng sister ko, ayan, lagi siyang bumibili nito. So, I think pahirapan din even in Manila, especially with sizing and colors. So, super perfect na meron nung color na gusto niya as well as sa size niya. So, I got this for around $560 in the airport and it actually retails for around $660 in the US plus tax. So, around almost $200 yung na-save niya with the spare. Next up is YSL. I did go to a YSL store kasi ayoko nang pumila. Padaan lang ako dun sa May LV Dream Exhibit and meron parang department stores like Galleries Lafayette. Pero ibang department store siya but similar format na maraming ibang, you know, um, designer brands. So, YSL. Again, this is for my sister. Pinabili niya rin to sa akin kasi pinalta niya yung meron na siya. And this is actually the envelope pouch. And ang ganda nung material niya. It's actually very well made for a pouch. It feels like a bag more than an envelope pouch. So, ayan. It can fit a phone, I feel like. Kasi medyo wide yung opening niya. I won't really dabble too much into it because hindi naman sa akin to. But if you guys are interested in the envelope pouch, I think this one was around 540 euros. And then... Of course, depending on the exchange rate and the VAT, I think VAT refund is around 12%. Next store is Loewe. Grab it, oh! Ang laki ng lalagyanan nila. And nagride ako ng metro when I got this, cause gumising lang ko ng isang morning na maaga. We didn't allocate like a shopping day for anybody, cause we were really there to see the sights of Paris. So gumising ako ng napakaaga as soon as it opened. Pinatahan ko na to kasi nga pinapabili ni Ate. But and I would say, I went to the Lueve store in the Philippines. Super good customer service. Very nice sila and approachable. Same yung feeling sa Lueve in Paris. Very nice din yung mga tao. So, here is the box. And my sister actually just asked me to get... Actually, maganda yung Lueve box kasi na, nakakollapse to. So, kayang-kaya mo siyang iuwi kung gusto nyo nag-uwi ng boxes. Ayan. Para siyang yung Louis Vuitton boxes that you could collapse. So, if very particular kayo kung mauwi niya yung box or hindi, ayan. Nakakollapse siya into like a flat box. Kasi yung sa YSL and yung sa Hermes hindi eh. And I think yung sa Dior din later, hindi siya nakakollapse. So, medyo bulky siya sa maleta. Anyhow, this is, this is actually a bag that we both like. So, since bumili na siya, I try not to buy anything na similar or the same sa kanya since, alam mo yun, para pwede naman kami maghiraman. Pwede nga ba? This is the Bolso Square Basket Bag. It's pretty cute. Meron lang siyang Loewe anagram here. It comes in three colors. So, there's the white one, the orange one is seasonal, and then yung tan one or yung brown one is actually always there as well. I actually suggested my sister to get the white one kasi feeling ko mas bagay siya with a lot of different outfits versus the tan one. Kasi parang ang um, yung pagka white niya, more of like a creamy beige color and hindi rin siya magiging dumihin kasi very little lang yung areas niya na merong leather material. And then another good thing about this is you can actually adjust the strap. So if you're taller and you need more space to be able to like hang it on the on your shoulder, pwede mo siyang i-adjust but then you can also make it shorter para you can hang it on the crook of your arm. It's a very sturdy material as you can see. Ang ganda ng gawa niya. In fairness, kasi ako hindi ako mahilig ng bumibili ng designer when it comes to like these basket bags because I just prefer the ones that are made in the Philippines. But for some re reason, this one, ang ganda niya lang tingnan, especially with the Loewe anagram. Ang ganda ng anagram nila, di ba? Hindi siya masyadong sumisigaw. Parang more of, if you know the brand, you know what it is. And ayan, very stiff lang siya. So, hindi mo siya pwedeng i-stuff masyado. But I think that's also good para you don't wear out the bag easily. So, yeah. This one, I think, retailed around for 540 euros. Um, I'm not entirely sure how much it is in the US. Kasi, inutos lang to sa akin ni ate. So, hindi ako masyado nag-research about it. But yeah, 540 euros for this one. Okay, now we have Dior's. We actually went to the gallery Dior, which outlined how Christian Dior started the brand and all of his like past dress collections. Ang ganda. If you guys are going, highly recommend going to that gallery, that exhibit because sobrang nakaka-inspire. Nakaka-inspire. Maganda yung story niya and yung exhibit niya, hindi siya yung parang 
blank canvas, tapos nilagay lang doon yung mga items. Talagang pinag-isipan bawat room talagang may parang starry night pa, may parang forest, may parang ang ganda, ang ganda talaga niya. And then at the dulo, katabi lang nun, is their store. So of course, mapapabili ka. Like I said, it's the first Dior headquarters. Andun yung unang atelier, dun siya nakatira dati. And then yun, yun, yun din yung unang store. So marami silang store exclusive, just like this paper bag and the star. So if you guys shop Dior, lagi meron sila yung star, di ba, pag bumibili ka. So ayan, parang siyang naka-laser cut yung star. And then yung bag niya. Meron siyang embossing nung front nung house. And then inside the bag, nakalagay lang 30. Yun. Kaya ako napabili dahil sa packaging. Joke. Sabi ko nga, ba Pero ito kay ate pa to since we both wanted this bag. And nung pagpunta ko doon, merong stock nung gusto niya in the color that she wanted. And I've been wanting this in the caramel color for a while then I just couldn't put myself to like purchasing it kasi namamahalan ako. But since gusto rin siya ng ate and mas mura siya sa Paris, napabili na din siya kasi sabi ko, if ever sa future, hindi niya na gusto, I'll buy it off of her na lang since gusto ko nga rin yung bag na to. So, ayan. Like I said, yung boxes ng Dior, hindi siya collapsible. So, medyo struggle siya ipack. But anyway, the bag that we're talking about is actually the Bobby. So, she got it in this nice white color. And yung pagka-white niya, para siyang yung Lady Dior ko, but a little bit more on the chalky side. Ang ganda ng color niya. It's a very lightweight bag. It comes with, of course, a strap. I won't put the strap na, but ayan, very smooth leather lang siya. So, if hindi ka maingat sa bag like me, baka hindi ito perfect na bag for you. But your sister ko, very maingat naman siya. So, sabi ko, okay, pwede na sa kanya yan. Or actually, more of sabi niya. Kasi sabi ko, shock smooth leather nga lang. But, it was actually the last one in store. And we originally wanted the caramel. Since mga two seasons ago na yung brown na yon out of stock na lang siya and meron lang ng isang piraso sa Milan so hindi naman ako pupunta doon so this one was actually the last piece in France so of course I had to get it na for her ayan I had to make sure lang syempre na maayos yung condition kasi nga last piece na and fresh naman very brand new they actually take out the plastic na nagko-cover dun sa the plastic seal na nagko-cover dun sa hardware when you look at it so kaya wala na siya since my sister already got a lot of bags hindi na ako bumili for myself kasi I felt like I have enough um, in my collection and I really didn't there wasn't anything na super gusto ko during that time. What I really wanted was the Dior slingbacks. However, when I was trying it on, I just it just felt like I'm not gonna use it every day. Or I wouldn't get the return on investment for that one because it's very dressy. It's more for like going out with your friends, a casual brunch, ganyan. And feeling ko lang kasi hindi ko siya magagamit as much. And then, when I compare the US prices with the prices in France, hindi siya nagkakalayo. I think it was around 990 euros. Or no, it was around 850 euros in Paris. Tapos sa US, parang 990 dollars. So, mas mura lang siya by like 80 to 100 dollars. So, sabi ko, it's not worth it. What if I change my mind? And I was actually trying on something else as well na mas nagustuhan ko. So this is the only item that I got for myself in terms of luxury products and it's actually a pair of shoes because like I said yung plan ko naman talaga was to get a pair of shoes yun nga lang I wasn't expecting to get casual shoes this is my first luxury pair of shoes and kinakabahan ako kasi hindi nga ako super maingat but then I wanted to change it up kasi lagi na lang ako naka white sneakers so I ended up getting the Dior wala pa so naka dust bag pa siya pareho kasi hindi ko pa siya nagagamit so I ended up getting the Dior Granville Espadrilles I wanted to pick this up kasi I sinukat ko siya tas parang it's a nice you know gray color pero it's not too dark medyo blue gray yung color niya so it goes well with a lot of my summer dresses ganyan so I definitely think that I'll get the most use out of this versus you know picking up the flats and then another thing was it was only 650 euros compared to 850 US dollars plus tax if I bought it in the US so it's like okay it's something that I don't have in my shoe collection and it's something that I don't have in my closet like 
wala akong espadrilles. I've been wanting to get espadrilles. Does it have to be designer? No. But I was in Paris and I wanted to commemorate the trip with a pair of like French brand shoes. So here it is. The Dior Granville Espadrilles in the Dior Oblique print. It actually comes with in a navy color as well. Pero for me, masyadong dark yun. So I opted for this nice blue-gray color. So with this one, I got it in a 36.5 because I usually wear a size 7 US. Kasi sabi ng client advisor, it actually expands as you wear it. So sakto na sa akin yung 6.5. I do plan on spraying this with like colonial carbon spray para ma-protect yung um, material niya dito para pag nabasa or anything like that since maulan sa kung saan ako nakatira and then I bought din yung sole stickers para hindi siya mabilis malaspag so I can just replace yung sole stickers every time kasi nga I want to get the most use out of it since it's my first pair and I feel like this is going to be my only pair of designer shoes kasi hindi talaga ako mahilig sa designer shoes since I feel like hindi ako mahilig or hindi pa lang ako nakakafeel but I like this kasi kahit na mahal siya feeling ko magagamit ko siya pang araw-araw. So, that's why I went for these and these were the only pair or these were the only luxury items that I got for myself during that. So, I didn't want to go crazy. I didn't want to make the trip about, you know, just shopping. I really wanted to explore the streets of Paris and so far, sobrang nagustuhan ko siya. Ang ganda talaga. Ang sarap mag-ikot-ikot lang. More than just shopping. The cafes, the vibe is really nice. And in terms of like the pickpockets and the gypsies you just have to be wary of your things just like in any other country that's what i did i rode the metro with my bags ganyan talagang tingin ka lang straight kung ano wala kang naririnig dire diretso ng lahat and you will be fine because that's what i did i rode the metro on my own and so far okay naman ako but yeah that is everything that i got in paris if you guys want to see like a tips and tricks video for your first trip to paris since this was my first trip nga I will be posting a video soon. So before anything, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, it's Eunice. I'll see you guys next time. And if you have any questions, just comment it down below.